Clarendon Hills and Hinsdale teams. Here are the contemporary books from your fall 2021 Great New Reads list. According to her mother, Amelia is destined for an Ivy League school. She plays field hockey, gets great grades, and even has a boyfriend in the popular crowd. But Amelia has a secret. She is a member of a competitive esports team that has the potential to make it big, but only if she can keep it a secret from her mother. Jake loves playing video games with his team. It might even be the highlight of his day, what with his lack of a social life. But when an esports tournament comes to town, Jake is excited to compete and meet his friends in real life. But when the girl of his dreams, Amelia, is revealed to be on the enemy team, Jake finds himself keeping secrets from his teammate and putting their potential to win at risk. Can Amelia balance school and her competitive video game life? Can Jake keep his esports team and get the girl? Read Don't Hate the Player by Alexis Ned to find out. Sixth grade quarterback Ben and his friends are coached by Ben's dad and his older brothers. His dad is a former NFL player and his brothers were all-star college football players. As they focus on trying to get to the championship, Ben's dad is diagnosed with ALS. After his dad receives this heart-wrenching diagnosis, Ben's mom becomes more determined than ever to get Ben to quit football. To make matters worse, a girl, Thea, joins the team. The team is not happy about this. But what they quickly realize is that Thea really knows football and she plays really well too. As Ben's dad gets worse, can they make it to the championship? And will this be Ben's final season after all? Written by the first openly transgender NCAA Division I men's athlete, Obi is Man Enough by Skylar Bailar is a story about navigating middle school, standing up to bullies, and being true to yourself. Obi is a trans boy who has been kicked off his swim team by a coach who refuses to work with him any longer. With the help of his very supportive parents, he is able to find a new coach and teammates that cheer him on as he adjusts to his training and the water. However, Obi can't seem to get his old coach out of his head, and he begins to have major trouble with bullies in the locker room and on the pool deck. It will take determination and the encouragement of some new friends, including Charlie, his first crush, to help Obi prove to his competition and himself that he can be one of the fastest boys in the water.